So word on the street is y'all been looking for me. <laughs> well, let me go ahead and grab a cup of tea so we can spill the tea as to what's been going on in my life. You guys, I missed you so much. I've been away. For those, let me rewind. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Julia. I am a recent medical school grad and a new first year internal medicine resident. Um, so I am a baby intern going through the woes of residency right now. Um, and I've been away. <laughs> I've been very absent because of residency and I am just so excited to tap back in with you guys and really like explain what my life has been like over the past six weeks or so um, and dive into it and spill some tea and let you guys really know what's up. I will say that this is going to be a very chaotic video because not only do I talk a lot and you guys know this, um, so I'm gonna be all over the place with my thoughts, um, but also I wanna throw in some clips of like my life um, and things that you know I've recorded walking to the hospital or coming from home or whatever kind of clips I found on my phone of me trying to capture live in the thick of it moments of residency um, and how I was feeling at that time. It's chaotic because I don't have a lot of time to film and really touch base with you guys in the moment because I'm literally so busy on the run at all times. Uh, but I just thought it would be funny to show you just the chaos that is my life on residency, like timing and just throw in some of those clips. But to start, I just want to say, hi guys. <laughs> I truly feel like sometimes that I'm like, the abusive boyfriend or girlfriend that's like i promise you guys i won't do it again i won't go two months without making a video for you guys or doing a vlog or yada 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 and then boom there i go with my abusive behavior leaving you guys in the dust again as i'm struggling and not touching base and you know terrible analogy I shouldn't make light of that type of thing, but I just wanted to tell you guys like how I be feeling sometimes with like me saying in these vlogs, like I'm gonna do better, you know, like I won't go this long again. And then like, there I go with my, with my shenanigans. So all of that to say, I can't promise you guys anymore. <laughs> I can't make these false promises anymore that I'll be able to post as regularly as I guess I once was. It's just not realistic with my life at this point in residency. Um, maybe later on as I get more adjusted to the schedule and the timing and just the overall exhaustion and demand that residency has on my life but at this moment i'm still not completely balanced and adjusted and it just isn't conducive to me dropping content regularly which sucks but it's a reality and i just want to tell you guys that reality and like obviously i'm gonna do my best but i just can't make promises anymore so you know I will drop videos as I'm able and that makes me very sad, but you know, I'll, I'll try, I'll try my best. All right guys, so I'm just leaving the hospital now. It is six, there goes my damn work phone. Look at me. Almost cracked my damn work phone. So that is my day, you guys. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to bring you along and be like, oh, here we're doing this, here we're doing that, psych. We're in residency, boy. This ain't med school no more. And tomorrow is my day off. <laughs> Get that. Could you try again? Get out of my business. Um, tomorrow's my day off, so I'm super excited. Maybe beyond my abilities at the moment. It's beyond mine too. You guys, like the most shocking and surprising part of residency thus far has been just the pure demand that it has on your life. And that shouldn't have been so surprising to me as it is, but I think in medical school, medical school is demanding on your time in your life as well. And there's a lot of sacrifice that you have to make in medical school, but you don't realize in those four years of medical school that you, you can put in as much as you want and then you get out 
of it what you put in right so you can work really really hard to get great grades and therefore sacrifice a lot or you cannot study as much those two weeks for that exam you could go out live your best life but you're gonna reap the you know consequences on that exam grade and you're gonna see it so all of that to say and on your clinical rotations and stuff you have to be there but you get to get sent home early from the residents and stuff like that right so there's these little like nuances of medical school that allow you to kind of come and go more freely as you please and put into it what you want um and then when you get to your clinical years obviously you can't just dip out but you do get the privilege of like leaving early or you know like not really working full resident hours um, so now as an intern resident, I'm just realizing like, I can't just pick and choose how much I want to put into it, right? I'm working seven to seven and I can't get dismissed. <laughs> I can't leave early to go study for an exam. I don't get weekends off. Like it's, there's no longer that privilege of coming and going more freely. And if you thought medical school was demanding as far as your time not being your time, residency is truly your time not being your time. Um, and that is just very just shocking just how much time I spend at the hospital and I spend in residency in general. All right, guys. So right now I'm pre-rounding. It is... 7 30 in the morning so i am going all over the hospital to find and see all of my patients um i have eight patients this morning and they're all at different parts of the hospital so i have about an hour and a half to see them all do a physical exam and figure out what we're doing for them today another really big thing is just how much doctors these days spend on the computer so obviously we're in a very technologically advanced world, um, but I, I swear I probably only spend about 5% of my time with patients themselves. Um, when I'm inpatient, like in the hospital, I, yeah, it's like really, really limited patient interaction. And the rest of the time I'm sitting on the computer writing notes, I'm putting in orders, I'm like rounding, um, things like that that just really aren't patient facing care and that really sucks like it like we come to medical school we do medicine most of us to really like work with patients and interact with patients and it sucks to realize how how little of that you actually do it's so crazy like so I am a little over two months into residency and <laughs> it's crazy it's it's wild because even saying that it like in the in the moment everything in life seems to go really slow right but i look back and i'm like wow like i've done over two months of residency like that's actually that's actually a lot of time right like that's one fifth of the year wait no one sixth of the year right 12 months but in the moment like in those blocks in those rota rotations when i was on icu every four days i was working a 28 hour shift you guys like what um on leukemia i would work 77 7 to 7 on my call days and then my non-call days i was working like 7 to 5 and every other day was a call day so 7 to 7 7 to 5 7 to 7 7 to 5 7 to 7 every single day you know i'm averaging almost 75 to 80 hour weeks in residency it's wild and in the thick of it you're like oh like this week is dragging and then now i'm sitting here on the couch talking to you guys and i'm like oh wow like i've done two months in the same way after four years of medical school you're like holy crap like that flew by four years of college two years of a master's degree whatever even at our big ages right like whatever your age is right now 19 20 30 40 whatever you look back on your past life and you're like whoa like that went like where did the time go right so everything in life feels like that and i know that this is just a temporary feeling um so that's why like in the moment it drags and it's really tough but i look back and i'm like wow i've done over two months of residency already and like these three years are really gonna fly by um all that to say it doesn't make it any less tolerable <laughs> residency still sucks you guys and it's because of all those things i just mentioned but also it's just like it's really just tough like the time it takes on your life um i find myself being a lot more like impatient and snappy um 
with like my loved ones because I'm just so stressed and on edge all the time. So I be snapping at like my partner. I snap sometimes at my sister. I, you know, don't have the patience for certain things anymore because it's just like, I'm so stressed and I also don't have a lot of free time. So like little things get to me, right? So traffic bothers me because I don't, I don't want to sit here in traffic and like I only have two hours before I need to go to sleep and I don't want to spend even 15 minutes sitting in traffic. I don't like, I find myself being very annoyed with like little things, noise levels. If I'm on the phone with someone and I hear background noise, I'm like, just call me back. Like, call me back, please, please. And I'm just like, I just need to relax. Like, I just need to relax. And it's residency, like it's driving me up a wall, you know? Um, all that to say, my program is amazing. I couldn't have chose a better place to be to go through these like highs and lows. I love the program I'm in. I love the city I'm living in. I love my life. Like, <laughs> I love my life. I love everything, the whole thing, you know, outside of the woes that I'm going through, like everything else is great. Um, which makes it a lot more bearable. What I will say is that where you choose to do residency training matters, right? So residency as a whole, like are the trenches, it sucks and you're gonna go through it, but where you go through it and who you go through it with matters. Like that's what makes or breaks the experience. And I couldn't have chosen a better program to be going through residency at. I feel like the people are great. I feel supported. I'm in a great city. Like I was saying, like my life is great and that all makes for a better experience. I also just feel like I, you know, I feel like I'm going through it, but sometimes I feel like I'm not going through it. I don't know, I'm like delusional right now, but like some days it's really like good, you know, like my clinic blocks, the two weeks that I spend in clinic every six weeks, I'm just coming off of a clinic block. So I've just finished two weeks of clinic, which is why I look like I think refreshed and rejuvenated and I have the time to sit down and chat with you guys. I like loved it. My clinic family is amazing. My patients are impeccable. Like my clinic block, the residents that I work with in clinic are great. I'm creating such great relationships with some of my co-residents and it's just like, some days I forget that I'm even in residency. Um, but yeah, like, and you know, every program I'm sure has its pros and cons, but there's a certain program for you. So your mission and your interview cycle, your fourth year is to really find which program that is. Um, Cause you're gonna go through it everywhere. Just where you go through it at matters and who you go through it with matters. All of that to say, that doesn't mean I haven't had bad experiences, you guys. I've left many a days from the hospital crying, venting out, sitting in my car like, ah, I don't wanna do this anymore! You know, like, that is not, that is not not happen. That's going to happen regardless of the program you choose, where you go, how smart you feel, all of that. And I attribute those days, sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm a type A person, I'm very ambitious, I'm very hard on myself. I think that I am my biggest critic and residency will really bring out a lot of insecurities within yourself. Not only like your information and your knowledge um, cause there's just so much we don't know and we can think we're smart individuals and whatnot but you don't know everything and that's the purpose of residency is to train and learn um, and like enhance those critical thinking skills um so it's like feeling inadequate um is a real struggle for me and i'm very self aware and hard on myself when it comes to that like those feelings of inadequacy um i feel like residency will teach you how to take feedback well because everyone is well intentioned so like but that doesn't make feedback any less hard you know like i feel like sometimes you could really like internalize and pers like take personal feedback. But once you get out of your head about that, like, okay, they're not like trying to shit on me. They're actually trying to make me a better doctor. Um, feedback is amazing. And I feel like I struggled with that in the beginning. It was like, oh, I'm not doing things right, you know? And instead of looking at it as that, it was no, like this is advice to help me be better, right? So that, and just some tough interactions. You know, I've had, I've had a tough interaction with, um, one of my superiors, 
Um, there's been some patients that have been, you know, somewhat difficult, we'll say. Um, those are not unique to any one place or any one institution. Um, but still, it doesn't make going through those experiences any any kind of easier so dealing with that has been um a learning experience and you really have to build up a tough skin to not internalize things and to not um you know characterize one person as like the everyone is like that you know like you will come across difficult people to work with and just realizing like i am just chalk that one person up for what they are and not like you know cast a blanket over everyone at this institution and say they're all like this that's not fair so yeah it was a long day guys it's seven o'clock just now leaving it's been it's been a wild ride you guys um but outside of that outside of everything with residency i feel good i'm about to go into a six week inpatient stretch so i'm starting off on um, pulmonology inpatient which is the lungs so I'm gonna do that for two weeks and then I'm gonna go to the veterans hospital for two weeks and do general medicine and then I have vacation um, for two weeks and I have yet to figure out where exactly I'm going for vacation but I am gonna do something um, you know trying to figure out the financial situation because we don't get paid much you know so we'll see what's within my budget um, we do get paid which is great it's just not much and you know i can definitely manage to go on vacation but another thing that i'd rather do with my money is buy more real estate so something i've been working on over the last two weeks while i've been on clinic and had more time is i've met back up with my real estate agent and him and i went to view some properties um, because i am getting ready to hopefully purchase my second real estate property so i obviously own my home um now and i bought my house my fourth year of medical school um after i matched and knew i was moving to philadelphia and so i bought my current home and i'm looking to buy a second property um to start kind of like my real estate investment journey um it's so funny you guys because i've always wanted to invest in real estate i've been preaching about real estate and generational wealth and all of that for years but it's so funny because i bought my house in may and my real estate agent like i reached out to him for the first time since i bought my house last week and i was like yo jay like let's link up i want to see these properties like this is what i want to send and when i saw him in person he was like julia like what's good it has been so long like where you've been at like what made you want to get back into real estate like what's going on and i was like jay it only took me six weeks of residency to realize that i ain't doing this forever so <laughs> we need an exit strategy you know like i'm not doing this working thing forever we're no 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 mm -mm. i love medicine I love patient care. I love being a doctor. Obviously, I've busted my tail to get to where I am, but that does not take anything away from my passion for medicine to say that I'm not doing this forever because it's just not sustainable. Like, and I know that I won't always be in residency, but just because I won't always be in training does not mean that my life is going to get any easier or you know i i was telling someone yesterday that when you move from training into like being you know an attending doctor like a boss doctor and stuff your your um burden like your workload doesn't get any easier it just gets different you're doing different tasks right in residency we're doing a lot of like the brunt like work of it in the hospital and whatnot um and attendings may not have to do that but they're dealing with other things right like they're dealing with actual like administrative billing um you know supervising teams all of that type of work and i'm sure it's a lot less like stupid little tasks but that doesn't mean that they're any less busy or less burnt out they're still burnt out too so all of that to say i'm not doing this forever um and I wanna make sure that I have investments and strategies in place so that 
I can be financially independent and free and not have to rely on work um, in my nine to five in order to make sure that my finances are taken care of. Um, and so I'm, you know, already working on how can I invest and have a real estate portfolio and stocks and things like that in place so that I don't have to work forever so that at maybe not 35 because that's right around the corner but like maybe not right around the corner but you know maybe at 40 after like 10 12 years of practicing medicine if I'm like you know what I think I'm gonna go be a travel blogger I can do that without feeling like nah I can't quit my job like we're we're just about to do this for another 20 years I'm not working for 50 years like no no oh so I met up with my realtor I, you know, am trying to put some things in place, trying to secure my second property, um, which would be my second in less than a year. Um, and I'm really, really excited about that. There's one already I have on the books that I'm trying to, you know, secure my loan for. So I'm just really excited, you guys. That keeps me going as well as like my passions outside of medicine. Um, although I haven't been able to touch base with you guys in a long time, I still, you know, am thinking about it. I'm still, you know, behind the scenes like oh like i miss my youtube family man like i miss chatting with them venting with them all of that so just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know i'm alive and well you know surviving the highs and lows of residency we're over two months in already which is wild like i literally started my youtube channel in medical school you know during the pandemic and it's just crazy that now like i'm legit like dr julia carter and i like have patience and I am working and it's like your dreams can be achieved you guys work hard grind it out believe in yourself be confident don't be silenced by anyone don't let anyone like tell you about your goals or what you can achieve like nah be who you want to be achieve what you want strive for your goals the sky is the limit the world is yours like go all in you know like don't don't half step you know go as hard as you can for what you want so with that i will see you guys next time look at my mug dr julia Car oh my god ridiculous dr julia carter there you have it it was great to see you guys great to touch base with you guys i will see you in the next video whenever that may be always thinking about you guys stay safe stay well i love you family catch you on the flip side